one of the largest predators in the world to have ever existed, seems to come straight out of a popular movie directed by Steven Spielberg called Jaws, in which the movie depicts a massively oversized shark capable of sinking ships out in the middle of the sea. This creature was known as Megalodon, and could easily grow up to be 60 feet long and had a bite more powerful than that of a Tyrannosaurus rex. Strangely enough, although sharing a timeline that would have placed this creature on Earth around the same time as our prehistoric ancestors, suddenly and quite rapidly, the Megalodon went extinct. Although the question as to what caused the extinction of the species has remained a mystery for decades, with other species of sharks from around that time still existing to this day, new research appears to have an explanation as to this strange mystery. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over the vulnerabilities of Megalodon and what could have caused its abrupt extinction. Bigger is not always better. Though many would remark that the size of Megalodon made it an incredible predator that helped to allow the creature to dominate the oceans during its reign, the truth is that the creature's large stature actually proved to be more of a hindrance in nature than an actual benefit. In order to support its massive body weight and muscle growth, the body of the Megalodon had a tremendous metabolism that only caused the creature to require massive amounts of food and resources constantly available in its environment in order to not starve to death. This calorie requirement would have forced the Megalodon to eat more than 2,500 pounds of meat a day just to survive making it next to impossible to not starve if the creature found itself in an area void of a large abundance of natural prey. Given the fact that the diet of the massive shark was made up mostly of turtles and seals, the Megalodon would have been forced to be in a constant state of predation just to meet its daily calorie requirements, even going so far as possibly eating its own young in times of stress and engaging in risky behaviours just to locate a possible food source that would most likely deplete in a short matter of time. Given the fact that the Megalodon often travelled over vast distances, this led to high probabilities of winding up in new areas that did not contain an adequate food source and ultimately left the entire species incredibly vulnerable. These problems are only made worse when one takes into consideration how an environment can easily be changed in its resource availability by season, which would often mean that the Megalodon would be forced to travel greater distances or be highly susceptible to starvation if any dramatic changes in climate occurred. A high competition for resources. Given the creature's massive size and its constant need for an adequate amount of calories just to survive, this led the creature to ultimately become a species that suffered from a high rate of competition with both neighboring species and its own kind. Though many times in the animal kingdom, having a much larger physique allows certain evolutionary advantages when it comes to the realm of competition, other times it can lead to a much higher resource scarcity for the species in question. The Megalodon, due to its large size, was capable of eating a wider range of foods that included schools of fish, turtles, seals, and every now and then, a lone whale. Due to its food supply being made up of many different marine animals, the Megalodon was constantly competing with those animals' natural predators for food. This also meant that their finely tuned ecosystem could only support a lower population density of the Megalodon due to its constant competition with members of its own species. This translates into not only the Megalodon being a mostly solitary marine animal, but a tremendously high risk in not finding a mate given their incredibly low population numbers. This translates into the much higher risk of inbreeding within the species when there are a lot of variation in the potential mates that will begin to manifest recessive genetic traits and birth defects in their offspring. The sheer stress on the body. The reason as to why not many predators have ever again reached the size of the megalodon, including different species of sharks that were around during the reign of the creature, has less to do with genetics and more to do with physics. In fact, many scientists speculate that the blue whale is the maximum size an animal can ever reach given the fact that if a creature were any larger in volume, then the creature would begin to collapse under the stress of its own weight. 
the only reason why marine animals can get so much larger than land animals is due to the natural buoyancy the water provides to reduce stress on the creature. Unfortunately, in the case of the Megalodon, this large size was responsible for a lot of added stresses and injuries to the creature even when performing mundane tasks. Due to its sheer volume, when the Megalodon would engage in long-distant travels or aggressive attacks, it would be forced to generate enough energy to move its body at high speeds, which only helped to cause more injuries and damages of which ultimately proved to be a more of a handicap than a benefit to the creature. The stresses and forces caused on the body of the Megalodon when attempting to perform simple actions such as redirecting and turning around could have been more than just a nuisance to the creature, essentially making it vulnerable to smaller, more agile predators at the time that were already seen as a major competition for food resources. The Megalodon was highly territorial. With all of the issues previously discussed surrounding food scarcity, a high competition for available resources along with an incredibly insatiable caloric requirement just to survive, it comes at no added surprise then that, given these variables, the Megalodon was an overwhelmingly solitary and territorial species. The Megalodon would often find itself competing with its own young, of which could grow to rapid sizes fairly quickly, as well as other surviving members of its species its own age. Though this helped the Megalodon spread out across the oceans of the world, it also meant that the creature would more commonly find himself isolated from other members of his species and dangerously aggressive with those of his own species if he came into contact with them. Similar to how sharks of the modern day will begin to eat their own young as well as other smaller sharks in times of stress, this was a common tactic employed by the Megalodon, especially during times of food scarcity and territorial claims. Though this is not an uncommon trait for many species in the animal kingdom, for the Megalodon this only helped to make their species far more incredibly vulnerable to catastrophic events and placed it at an even higher risk for extinction during its time. The Dramatic Change in Climate As many people are well aware of, climate change has seen dramatic ups and downs all throughout the history of our planet. This includes several instances of heating events and cooling events spread out over millions of years that are responsible for a wide variety of extinction-level events seen in the variation of life on this planet. During the reign of the Megalodon, the Earth saw just as many instances of climate change that drastically affected marine life. One of the main changes in the climate that potentially caused the extinction of the species was the cooling trend that started back in the Oligocene era. This trend led to far more glaciation seen at the poles of the planet, lower temperatures in the ocean as well as geological events that changed currents and altered precipitation in many areas around the world. This change in climate would have forced the Megalodon to move to warmer waters to be able to sustain its massive size and caloric requirements. Warmer waters that would have continued shrinking over many generations as the trend reached a peak. It was around this time that the Megalodon seemed to have vanished from the fossil record which helps to support the evidence between the correlation of its extinction and the change in the climate. Lack of genetic variation a researcher by the name of Catalina Pimiento has dedicated a lot of their time in the attempts to crack the code as to what could have caused the Megalodon's extinction and believes that they may have found the answer by looking at the size of the teeth of the species throughout time. After recording and comparing about 400 different specimens of the Megalodon held at many different museums from around the world, Catalina Pimiento was able to accurately measure their final body size and mass at around the time the species went extinct. She found that not only did the biggest and smallest of the Megalodon have roughly the same size with little variation, but that there appeared to be far more Megalodon of a much larger size shortly before they became extinct. Although it is not known as to what could have directly caused this change, it still remains a key piece of evidence as to the theories of the cause of the Megalodon's extinction. Unfortunately for the Megalodon, evolution does not promote monoculture, and the only way to guarantee the safety of a species and its chances at survival is to promote genetic variation and adaptations throughout its species. 
Given the lack of genetic variation of the species, this could very well mean that disease or rapid changes in the environment were the main cause of extinction. Similarly seen in the case of the Gros Michel banana species that was completely eradicated by a single fungal plague, when a species contains little to no variation in its genetics, it becomes incredibly susceptible to specific diseases and the damage they can cause on their species. But what do you all think of these incredible discoveries about the world's greatest predator and the changes that occurred all across the world? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.